everybody. I'm here to give you guys a review for Little Women Atlanta Season 4, Episode 4, titled Skinny Mini. Question of the day. Have you ever ran a race or a marathon? To answer that question, I've done at least one 2K and one 5K. If I were to do any more, I can tell you right the fuck now, I'm not running them. <laughs> With the uh, injuries that I had and the, t and the lateral release I've had done on each knee, I ain't running shit. <laughs> but let me know in the uh, comment section below. All right? So, I'm more than likely going to breeze through this because trust me when I say, like, not a whole lot happened and of some of the shit that did happen, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even fucking care at this point <laughs> because a lot of this shit is either somebody does not have a storyline or it's just fuck shit. All right? So, Moni wants to have a baby. She's been holding off talking to Moylan about it because until they have a uh, until she had figured out the situation with her son uh, D two and whether or not he was going to come live with her. And she's going to make an appointment with the doctor. See, if she's good. You know, if I, I'm just gonna get out of the way. So she goes to the doctor. The doctor says that she would be a good candidate. But I will say I didn't see them run no tests, look at none of her you know stuff or whatever but they might have already done that we didn't see it she talks to Moylan Moylan feels a way actually let me go to the back I wrote some shit about that but he feels a way about it because he is totally against it he says they're too late in the game and the fact that she went ahead and saw the doc without him that really made him feel a way which I somewhat understand, but I don't. But I think that he will use any excuse to not. Because here's the thing. If he don't want to do it, all he has to do is say, I don't want to do it. And let that be it. But I didn't know this, but apparently he has four kids already. She has one. But I don't think what she's understanding is that I'm pretty sure he didn't pay for the ring flat out. So that right there is still a bill that he has to pay for. Not just that. Whatever mortgage or rent that they have. The expenses that it's going to cause for said baby the fact that she's a little person her child if i'm not mistaken is a regular sized child but if she happens to have a little child or a little a child that is a little person i want to be politically correct here then there's going to be a lot of medical expenses with that and whatnot and the fact that he has a job where he's on the road a majority of the time she's going to be a stay-at-home mother we still ain't seen what the fuck she's been doing at least for like the past two seasons so that's all the fuck I'm gonna say about that. But and even with both of them having kids, I mean, how old are his kids? Is, is he paying child support? Are they paying child support? A lot of questions to be asked. But I really don't give a fuck. But you can see, Moni does not have a storyline. She could have milked the whole thing of more than cheating, which they might actually go back to it. We'll see. Juicy, she meets with a beer, um, and a beer says she's done a few tracks. Uh, people have said that it sounds good. Uh, Bira is open to being managed by Juicy. She's a little apprehensive about her partner only because she doesn't want to feel that he is trying to capitalize or take advantage of the fact that she is in fact a little person, but she's willing to give it a shot. Juicy mentions that she might work with the uh, uh, Tiny Twin, and Bira's whole thing is as long as they cool, we cool, it is what it is. They go on to meet with him. She gets, uh, I mean, she performs. She gets in full act, stand on the table, this, that, and the third. I probably would have, I mean, I would have felt the way if an artist is standing on my motherfucking table. I'm just saying, but she got in character. He was feeling it. We'll see where that goes. Juicy, before they had met with the Tiny Twins, they don't want to work with her right now. And they really feel the ways that she went ahead and signed a beer before them. Fucking sense of entitlement. So she tells him, hey, they don't want to work with us. And that's it with them. Who the fuck else we got? <clears throat> so many. Many wants to do a 5K. She tells this to and she tells this to Amanda. And they also bring and she also talks to Amanda about the state of the tiny twins. She doesn't know. We'll come back to that. Many then goes and talks to Cora until Cora Cora finds shit to be funny. She says that she's gonna be doing it with Sam. She then goes on to do the um what you call it the uh 5k and she's not able to complete it and they have to go back and i think i probably said this in my previous review is that i think that they should have started small and worked their way up one probably should have done a 2k if anything and she had even said to her mother well i've done three miles on the treadmill her mother was right when she said 
there is a difference between running on a treadmill and running on, you know, the road, on pavement. Complete and utter difference. But even in addition to that, I don't know, I don't think she necessarily trained for, and not just that, her trying to run it, you can also walk a 2K or 5K. So, that is what it is. Fuck us, we got Amanda and Andrea. Uh, Andrea finally invites Amanda over. They talk about the state of the Tiny Twins. Andrea is very unsure. So pretty much right now, Tiny Twins are on a break. Amanda meets with Gail, their manager. She breaks it to her. And Gail is just like, okay, well, I can possibly do some things with you. Because I'm pretty. Because she was trying to make it seem as if she didn't want to do anything about herself. But she's like, I can see that you want to. And Gail goes on to tell her, I need for you to communicate with me. And... Gail had mentioned that she had sent her a message and never got a reply back. Amanda feels kind of ways like, you're not going to make me look bad. I think she was more trying to say, you're not going to make me look bad on camera. So they go through the text messages and it appeared that she did answer. But she did not give a definitive answer on whether or not she wanted to do something or not. Which was part of the issue. And Gail had even said to her when she had these opportunities that... Amanda had I uh, sent her email back telling her to prove it that she had these things and Amanda was just like I don't not Amanda Gail was like I don't have to prove anything to you and Amanda's getting upset she tells her you know calm down they go back and forth and Amanda gets in the film says this is terminated and that's it with that I'm trying to see did I fucking miss anything because I, I really do think that's that's the fuck about it Oh, and the last thing. So, at, at the very end of the race, Sam gets a call from Vaughn. Vaughn tells her that the sage lady, her uh, blood pressure, had gotten to a point where they had to admit her in the hospital. And it seemed like it's getting worse. And we're going to find out next episode, I guess something <laughs> didn't happen with the baby. So, we'll see. I'll probably end up being a little bit more compassionate next week. So, hey, that's all I got. It's a quickie fucking review because really ain't shit happened. It was one of those where they just kind of threw some shit at us. And I'm going to say this. I'm I, I'm upset. Like, <laughs> I'm glad we're not faking storyline. But Minnie ain't got a storyline. Juicy never has a fucking storyline. Moni don't have a storyline. Sam dealing with the hair loss but don't have a storyline. Like, literally, it seemed like this whole season is probably going to be nothing but fucking filler. Not here for it, but that's all that I have. So, next review should be Married to Medicine. I am working on bringing back tabloids and trending topics with T, but it won't be live. I'm, pro I'm probably just going to go ahead and just uh, give it to you guys, sort of kind of like this, just a little bit jazzed up. But we'll see. Don't quote me, don't quote me. But if all goes well, then that video should be out Sunday. So, yeah, next video should be uh, Married to Medicine. So, until next time, I will see you guys later. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And, yeah, see you then. Peace.